Well, yeah, we've been waiting for some while. I think probably I need to wind the clock back about 15, 16 months when NHS England decided that they wanted to set up centres based on a minimum population of half a million, which would have meant that some of the less common cancers, which could have been up to 200 patients a year, would have to move to, say, Exeter or even further to get their treatment. And that's when we decided to have a campaign to make sure that NHS England realised that we didn't think that was a good idea. And the three basic reasons we didn't think it was a good idea, A, we've got a fantastic department with up-to-the-art up equipment. We've got fantastic staff. Uh, we were treating those patients perfectly well uh, before they came up with this idea. And also their own guidelines indicate that no patient should travel more than 45 minutes for treatment. Well, if you're in Penzance and you have to be treated five days a week for six weeks, and instead of going to Truro, you've got to go to Exeter or even further, it's just not an option. So we are delighted that we have won, and we really means the whole of the public of Cornwall. 10,850 of them, in fact. We have been told anecdotally that when they've had 11,000 uh, responses across the country, and no, I think it was 11,500, and 10,850 came from Cornwall, it really made them have to sit up and look at the question again. So because we got such fantastic support, I'm sure that it did make them rethink change their mind. I think it's a sense of relief, particularly for those patients that would have to travel. I think it's a sense of relief for us as a charity because we've been supporting the department and it's an excellent department. And if they'd taken just those cases away, you're beginning to downgrade the centre. And our fear was that if you start to downgrade it, then you don't get the consultants coming because it becomes not a first-rate department. And so it, you know, it withers away. And that's what we didn't want to have happen. We wanted to make sure that it remained in Truro, treated the people of Cornwall, and that was a great relief when we won. Yes, it is, but I think what they were really working on, they wanted a centre of excellence. And if you look at the rest of the country, a half a million population is not hard to find in other areas. It's very unlikely in most parts of the country that you could get to a centre within 45 minutes. But if you're in Cumbria or Cornwall, you know, it just doesn't apply. So it just didn't fit the purpose. And I suppose maybe they've made an exception, but thank goodness they have. I'm glad that we did decide to back the department. I also would mention that we had Idena Limited who helped us set up Facebook and website and in the period from the beginning of January 18 to the 31st of January 18, we had fantastic response from our Facebook page and the website from people in Cornwall. And that's what actually generated the 10,850 responses. So, you know, sometimes the people can move the, uh, the, the equation, you know, sometimes we can win. Yeah, people power, and let's encourage us to use it again in the right circumstances. The, the department will carry on as they have done. As a charity, we will carry on collecting money um, to help the department, particularly when they want new pieces of equipment, which may be, you know, the NHS finances are stretched. If we can help them, which we have done already to the extent of over two 2.4 million, and we've now just recently gone over 3.1 million collected from the people of Cornwall, and that's what we'll continue to do with the money. So keep supporting us.